Hi everybody, we're back continuing on with our commercial building in Revit 2023. So we have our architectural model and our last exercise, we went on and put together our structural frame, but we still have more work to do here, actually. We do have a floors, but we don't have our basement floor or foundation floor. So let's go down to level one. And actually, you want to go down to top of footing level. So here in top of footing, and basically, it appears to be a floor there, but I don't think it's a floor there. I must be, yep, we're looking at an overlay, so we want to shut that guy off. So now we've got our, just our floor, and we can move, get this guy out of the way too. We need him anymore. So now, this is our top of footing right, right, right at the bottom. So what we need to do here, we just go in our structure, and we'll go with a structural floor here, and we'll use our pick wall command. So we just pick these walls. And that will give us our floor slab. Now here, I want to finish this. And then I want to go look at this in our section view. Now we didn't, now what we did, here's our floor here. And we don't want that. And what we should have done, this is just a bad habit that I have. And I don't want nobody else to get it. So what I want to do here. I'm just going to select this guy here. Wow, what kind of floor is that? Okay, that's the same floor we had for the uh, other level. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to just blow this away. So now let's go here, do our structural floor once again. This time, we want to see, let's just go get us a, say, let's go grab a four and slab. But I think we need about six inches. So I'm gonna edit this type. I'm gonna duplicate it. Let's call it six inch concrete slab. Say okay, and then we'll go ahead and edit it. And we'll change this to six inches. Okay. So now we'll go and pick our walls. So we'll have that six inch slab in here. So we'll just take this right around. I mean, everybody know how to do this. Grab these walls. And then I'm going to complete this finish. Okay, now let's look at this section. So that's what we want. Um, so a six inch wall, I'm going to measure it just for Okay, so we're good here. So now what we want to do is, this is something I do. Um, okay, we've got some more framing to do here. I'm not going to worry about that right now, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this upper level done. And a quick way to do this would be to go to our level two. Uh, wait a minute, that would be our level two framing plan, this one. So we're in this drawing, and I want to just go, and I want to select, uh, let's see, I'm just go here, move in here, and I want to right click, and I want to select, all instances. And I think I got most of them. And then I want to paste these to my clipboard. You want to copy them to align selected levels. That's going to be our roof. Let's say OK. So now let's go and have a look at our 3D view here. OK, so we got some of our steel up. But I'm just going to go in here and tweak it up the rest of them. So I'm going to grab this one. Now, this is not a way I would recommend doing this. I'm doing this because uh, I would lay it out for a structural guy. Uh -oh. 
he would probably come and get the right sizes, but let me just grab this one, this one. Um, I need this one. And I'm going to do the same thing I just did before. I'm just going to go um, paste the clipboard, copy, align, select the levels. I'm going to go up to my row. So we got one more here. Actually, yeah, this one will go up. Now, what I'm going to do here, um, let's go up to level up, level as well. Okay, what's going on over here? I think this one will come up as well. Now, this is what I do in these cases here. Um, let me go in here. Please. And he's going up to rough as well. Now, what I would do here, I don't I know I don't need this size, and I might want to break these down. Let's see what we got here. Let's make this a Let's drop this all the way down because we don't need this kind of load up this high. So I'm going to go with the 1226 for all these. I'm going to go modify, match. So I'm going to grab this guy and just match him all the way through. Because we don't need that. Uh -oh, let me do that. Something's going on there. Oh, I've got two of them. Let me get rid of one of these guys. Now should be able to modify, match. Okay. Well, I can do this this way. So I can match the rest of these. Actually, I can grab these guys. But like I said, don't quote me. I do this. Try to do this. I'm going to change all of these to, or whatever they want you to change these to. That's basically what it boils down to, but I'm going to make them all W12s up here. So we don't need this much load. And we can change these beams to whatever we want. So that won't work. But anyway, guys, uh, you get the idea of this. Um, let's make these double 12. Don't need that big up there. So the, the top level will be um, lighter weight. You know, let me start to just match these. So there you go. And then as far as the the joist, let's see what's going on here. Yep, I need this guy up too. But hey, I'm going to leave it there. Um, you guys know what to do. You can even copy these up that way. You can grab these beam systems as well. Uh, we can go say select beam system here. And we can go, no, you can't. Okay, so anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching my video. I'll see you in the next video. Everybody be safe. Please subscribe. Help us make videos like this. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again, and everybody be safe. Bye.